Hey there, do it yourselfers. Back again for another step-by-step -step video on the second gen Toyota Tacoma. Gonna replace the rear bumper. Uh, no, no fluff, no gruff. We're just gonna get to it. Uh, I'm doing this on the hottest day of the year. I don't know whose idea that was, but anyways, let's do it. Okay, here's the subject, 2006 Toyota Tacoma, second gen obviously, uh, tired bumper, black, it's got some dents in it, um, paint peeling in spots, a couple rust spots here and there, uh, just time to replace it. Ordered one from Extreme Terrain, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, it was a little bit pricier than those on Amazon, but seemed to be better quality. Uh, we'll start by Hitting every bolt we can with penetrating oil. Uh, I'm using this today, uh, the Croil, I believe it's pronounced. Uh, it looked online, seemed like it was the best as far as penetration. I've used a bunch of them over the years. Uh, LPS2 is really good. Uh, you know, WD is okay, but uh, this, this stuff's supposed to be the best. Hit all the bolts you can with that, uh, and then we'll go from there. I like to use some cardboard underneath when I'm spraying oil or, um, you know, if it's a dirty job, when you've got rust and debris from rear bumpers. First thing we're doing right here, we're going to take off the uh, uh, lights for the license plate and we're going to take off this plastic piece right here. You can see we've already got covers missing. There's supposed to be covers on each of these uh, round holes and there's supposed to be a cover here. We've only got one cover left on this one. I pry that up. A plastic fastener here. Two 10 millimeter bolts underneath. We're going to get this off. These things um, obviously just a Phillips screwdriver and then disconnect the um, uh, the electrical connection. I like to use hand tools. Um, you can use an impact uh, but you can also really uh, cause a strip screw or a strip bolt really quick. As you can see here, real easy, pop that screw off, take off this electrical connector, you're good. If you want to replace these, you can. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of folks like to use LEDs, you could replace the bulb, uh, but you could replace the housing as well. It's up to you. Okay, for this thing, we just uh, used a small screwdriver to pry out the cover. Looks like a non-factory a plastic fastener probably been using there at one time again just used a small screwdriver to pry that out this whole top part of this plastic is now loose two 10 two 10 millimeter bolts and it'll be gone so again glad i took my time on this uh use the hand tools i sprayed these bolts with penetrating oil halfway through because they were squealing and screaming and you know was able to get this plastic piece off uh, all intact and no strip bolts the bolts were underneath here and you can see there is some rust I mean this is not a northern truck so there's some rust so you got to be careful take your time so I've sprayed some more penetrating oil even on the bolts that were not exposed before the next step is removing the plastique here these aren't factory. I'm just going to pry these off with a little screwdriver, get those off of there, get this whole plastic piece off. Let me show you underneath. Shout out to 737 mechanic on this one, talking about taking these, um, taking these plastic pieces out without damaging, getting a long uh, needle nose, bent needle nose. You know, you can get this type, or I've got a different one that's similarly bent or even more bent so to speak and get on these plastic retainers here you need two hands obviously clip on them pull this out this one's already it's already missing one it's already got a tab broke off there you can see uh, but it's going to come up like that uh, if you're trying not to damage it 
Uh, with this being damaged already, we may end up replacing part of some of it or not. We'll see. So, but that's your next step. Okay, so these little fasteners here were pretty much trash, so I'll just have to replace those, but I've got a, uh, a box full of plastic fasteners. That's not a problem. I was able to just really use some light pressure and push on these uh, plastic tabs underneath, get them off. Unfortunately, I already had some missing. Got one over there missing, and I've got, looks like one there, and two there so a total of three missing over here so not the best situation may end up having to replace this at some point but you can certainly save yours by uh, just getting underneath and using some light pressure okay so the next step is to remove the bolts uh, so you've got some 10 millimeter bolts and you've got and you've got some 10 millimeter bolts underneath that's to the metal bracket that comes off off along with the rest of the metal bumper don't have to remove that all the 12 millimeter bolts do need to be removed. So you can see where I've put some penetrant on them. These uh, plastic side pieces also come off with the bumper. You can remove those once the bumper is off. So uh, we've got two there, two there, under what were underneath that cover. These two larger bolts are gonna have to come off. Uh, take that back, they may not. Uh, I'll see how that goes and two right here. You also have two 12 millimeters on either side, underneath. So we're gonna get those as well. All right, so it's cooled off a little bit and after the penetrating oils seeped in, six bolts on top, all 12 millimeter, four bolts total on the bottom. There's the four bottom bolts. Had to be very careful with those uh, one was squealing and screaming the whole way. You do not have to take off these two large bolts here because this thing will pop right off uh, and come out of there. Uh, I need to use two hands, but it will come right out. Uh, once, once everything's loose, you just work it out gently and it'll come right off. And here we go. A moment later, bumper's off. I'm going to go over this with some uh, rust converter uh, just to make sure that we're good, clean it up, uh, chase some threads, make sure everything's good to go, hold bumpers over here. Um, these brackets are going to need to come off. This plastic piece is going to have to come off, convert that or put that onto the new bumper piece. That's where we are. Okay, I've already got this bracket off. Uh, just took four 10 millimeter bolts and then I've already taken off the plastic piece uh, So it had a uh, fastener here that I used the needle nose on and then over here you can see it's got these tabs where You just need to loosen these 10 millimeter nuts and Then you can slip it out towards the back and Then you have to take these off put transfer all this onto the new bumper here's what the other side looks like again four bolts on the bracket itself and then the two nuts on the plastic piece with the um, fastener down there and just take your time work those off transfer all that to the new okay as you can see the lights starting to fail me but I've transferred the metal brackets and the plastic end pieces to the new bumper um, for 10 millimeter bolts uh, put them on loose and then tighten them up um, after they were all on uh, slipped on these um, nuts here and you got to be careful with these uh, just be easy with the plastic and just snug those up Clipped it in, transferred the little pieces for the uh, license plate light, both sides, and there's the bracket and the plastic piece on that side. And we come over to the metal bracket on the bumper. 
you can see I've uh, put a lot of uh, penetrant, put some uh, protective oil on there as well. Uh, we're going to slide this new bumper right on, right over those big bolts, and we'll start uh, putting in all the bolts, all the 12 mil millimeter bolts, and then tightening them up after they're already on there. All right. Installation is the reverse of removal. Uh, 12 millimeter bolts are in place. Snug them up after all of them were in. New bumper piece is looking on. That fluid film made it real easy to slip the new bumper on. And we've also put the uh, license plate light pieces back in. Uh, we're now going to put the center plastic piece on, top plastic piece, and that's it. We'll show a finished version shortly. All right, do-it-yourselfers, here we are the next day with a lot of light with the finished product. We just put that uh, top center piece back on, just clipped it on, uh, refurbished it a bit with some flood. Same with the side plastic pieces. Uh, we ordered a new uh, center plastic piece off of Amazonian because the, uh, the old one was damaged and missing pieces. Uh, it came with the flat round uh, two pieces on either side so we're going to have to order some of the um, uh, uh, bell shaped uh, curved ones but we'll do that uh, reuse the old uh, license plate lights uh, use some flood on those as well uh, but you can see the metal part of the bumper all black looking real nice no dents no rust turned out well Thank you all, as always.